Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing Ruthless, which is a deck building game all about trying to assemble the best pirate crew. This is a prototype, so it's not quite a final stuff. I think the cards are, but the tokens and things will be a little bit different. And yeah, it's coming soon from Alley Cat Games. Sometimes I forget to say that I recommend that you turn on the Klingon Subtitles channel, because if I've made any mistakes, they will all be noted up there, and that will put you right, hopefully. So we have a row of available pirates. We have some treasure cards we might be able to get. These are points for the end. These aren't actually from Ruthless. They're from a different game, but yeah, prototype. I said that, didn't I? And uh, we have some achievements that will be different every game. Here we are shooting for the most valuable uh, treasures in your deck for the end of the game. We'll get you four extra points. And the most crew members in your buried pile, which uh, yeah is a way to thin out your deck, but also can be a way to score more points. And these are the pirates that are available to recruit right now. So as you might expect from a deck builder, we draw five cards and we take it in turns playing one action each until you run out of cards, basically. So if you can take an action, you have to do it. So I think my action is going to be, now these are Powder Monkey cards. You can use them for, if you just use one, you can either get rid of a pirate from here and bring out another one, and that's your turn, or you can bury a card that's in your hand or discard pile. It goes underneath here and it's basically out of your deck forever. And we might wanna do that because we want a lot of crew in our buried pile for the points. But I am gonna play two together, which lets me take a plunder action. So these are gonna go into my discard pile. And I take the top card from the plunder deck, which has all the treasures in it. Now this is a treasure of value two for, you know, we want the most valuable amount of treasures. I can either have two money right now, or put this in my discard pile, and whenever it comes out in the future, I can play it to get two coins. I think I'm gonna hang on to it. So that's my turn. At the end of your turn, you can recruit a pirate. And this is how much they cost. And we are trying to, at the end of the round, we are going to compare crew strength. And it works kind of like poker hands. You know, they are worth a certain amount of strength depending on if you've got a pair, a straight, a straight flush. So do I want to hire somebody? I've only got two coins right now. I think I would like to actually. I'm gonna spend my two. And the only pirate I can hire is this guy. Hopefully I can get some more of the same suit though. So he comes up here because uh, you can only hire three in a round, no matter how many turns you get, you can only hire three pirates. And you carry out the action at the bottom of his, of his card straight away. So I have picked attack, which means that a player has to discard a card or a coin and it's their choice. So Marty is just gonna discard one of his coin cards and I get one money and this pirate stays up here. A new pirate comes out to fill this display up. It's a captain, quite expensive. I think Marty is going to go for a loot action. So you can play as many coins as you want in one go. He's gonna take two coins and he is going to spend four to hire this seven card and hope to, and he could, you know, it's, it's more likely I can get a straight or something from having a, th a three and a four. So it's tempted to take that one away, but he, I think he's gonna take this one. It lets him take the lookout action, which is draw the top two cards of your deck, take one and put the other one back. So uh, yeah, it's just, he hasn't got much choice there. And that's one of his hired pirates. A new one comes out, so he's got six and seven. So me, I will take a loot action. So that's gonna be three coins to me. So I've got four coins. If I hired the number six, I would get to take the rescue action, add a pirate from your discard part of your hand. Not really good for me right now. Uh, or I could take the berry action or remove something from the game. I think I will hire this pirate here and I have to hope that something good for me comes out. I'm gonna take the money, I think. I'm gonna take two money. I'm hoping that something good for me comes out that costs three. So maybe a two of, uh, of this suit. But it's all down to Marty really because we get to buy one more time after everybody's finished. I think Marty is going to take a plunder action and look at the treasure deck. And I think he's just gonna have that for now, is he? He couldn't afford anything anyway. He's gonna just save it for later. Or actually, he has got one coin, hasn't he? And this five would be good for me because I could make a straight out of it. Yeah, he is gonna just take the money now. So this gets discarded and he gets two money and he is going to recruit this number five. Hopefully if he can get a six somehow, it would be perfect for him. Uh, and he gets to take a plunder action. So that's just one money and you can't choose to keep 
that card. And he gets to get rid of a pirate from here. So he doesn't really want me to get one. And he's the only one with cards left, so he will... Does he want to bury a card or knock something else out? He's only got one coin, so he's not going to be able to buy anything, I don't think. He will just bury a card. He will bury one of his Powder Monkey cards. So he has made a start at burying crew cards for the achievement at the end. So we now compare crew strength and make some crews. So <laughs> neither of us have got anything. As a matter of fact, we didn't hire very well or didn't save our money very well at all. And you have to have assembled a party with a strength of four at least. So you need at least a pair to be able to get any points. So we are in the same position. We've both lost out on one point there. There are six rounds in a two player game. These pirates now go into our discard piles and we'll come out with the rest of our decks. But now it's, uh, it's gonna be Marty as the first turn. Okay, he's got a lot of powder monkeys, not really much money though. So he will play two to take a plunder action. And he gets two money now or later on one money and draw a card when this comes back out. I think he's gonna take it for later. So he wants to hire a pirate. He can't really do that with one money. Comes back to me. So I think I would like a plunder action. And I will take the one money and attack right now. And Marty has to discard something. I think he's just going to discard this coin and hope to take another plunder action in a minute. Do I want to hire a pirate? Two, three, four. I think I might wait and try and get a captain. Captains are worth points, but you know, you do want something for a hand. I might want to buy both of these sevens. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I am going to hire this pirate who lets me draw a card, something to shuffle this now, and get a coin. And I just drew another coin card. Marty, I think he's taking another plunder action again. And he just gets three money right now. Oh, we need a new pirate, don't we? So we've got a captain there. Two, three, four, and he could take this pirate away from me. I think, yeah, he'll do that. He doesn't want me to earn a point by having a pair. So I, he draws two cards and decides which one to keep and which one to put back and gets a coin. So there's a chance he can hire again. And then we have a parrot. It counts as the blue suit or the skull and crossbones suit and it counts as whichever number you like, but it doesn't have a power when it's played. For me, I think I'm going to go for, well, I'm gonna get the pirate. I'm gonna play these for two coins and spend three coins to get this pirate, because I can say the, par the parrot is a seven, and now I've got the strength that I needed. Marty can get his uh, one coin here. But yeah, he, uh, he is not gonna be able to assemble a good crew again. I still have these. I'm going to take a treasure action. So two now, or keep it, and it'll keep coming out later. I like... I think I'm just going to go for now. I get two coins ready. I can't spend them right now, but next round I've got a bit of a leg up. And that's the end of the round. So I have a pair. I'm saying that the parrot is a seven. So pair is four strength. So I qualify and I get myself a point. Marty didn't, so he gets nothing. But it is only one point at this stage. Next round, though, it's going to start really mattering. So I'm the first player again. And let's see. We've got powder monkey, powder monkey. And there are my pirates. So I might not really want to reveal which pirate I've got right now because it might make Marty start discarding things that he thinks I want. I'm going to take a plunder action. And, <laughs> sorry Marty, uh, attack things keep coming out. I will just do the one-off though. Let's draw him some cards. So yeah, I'll just do the one-off. Get a coin and attack so he can get rid of his coin or a card. He'll get rid of his powder monkey card, I think. And do I want to buy a pirate? I can't with three coins with any of these that are out. Marty, he is going to do a loot action for two coins and he'll spend the two he's already got for this pirate because it's the suit he's already got. So that goes up there as recruited this turn. He gets a card, so I'm gonna to have to shuffle and a coin. But more importantly, he can play these later, and now he's gonna have a straight for the crew strength at the end of the round. And this round, if you, as long as you get at least four, you get one of these, but first place gets six points. And he drew a powder monkey. 
so back to me. Oh, we need a new pirate out. So there's another six, another six. Oh, I've just got a three here. I think I'm going to play my three. Do an attack again on Marty. He'll discard his Powder Monkey card. And get myself a coin. So at least I've got four now. But who do I want? Nothing would, uh, nothing would match up for me just yet. I can wait and hope to knock something out of the running with that card. So Marty will play his five. He gets to plunder. And so, do you want two coins now or a coin and draw a card later? I think he will take, he'll take the later. He'll keep building up his treasures. But it does mean he's not going to get to hire anything. But he's in a pretty good position with the cards that he's got, I think. And he can get rid of something. He will get rid of the captain of the suit that I seem to be collecting. He's revealed a two, which is potentially good for me. But I would have to be able to buy a, a, a four as well as a two for it to do anything. I'm going to play my loot card to get one more coin. So that gives me five. So I could get a Quartermaster, who is worth a point at the end of the game, and would let me draw two cards. But I think I'm going to try and go for this. I'm going to draw this two, pay two coins. So do I want to draw a card or take a treasure action? I think a plunder action, rather. I'm going to go for the plunder. And I'm just going to go for now, I think. Just grab the two coins for now. New card comes out. It's a one. Perfect. But I can imagine that Marty will be getting rid of that if he can. He plays his last card. He plays the lookout. Draws two cards. Decides which one to keep. And he will keep... He'll actually keep the powder monkey. And he gets a coin. And he is only hired. These are supposed to be in a different section, by the way. So you remember that how many you've actually hired. He might as well, I think, hire this one to stop me from getting a straight, a straight as well, because we would tie then. So yeah, he's going to hire this pirate and get himself a coin. It gets refilled and another one comes out. He has the power to knock something out of the way. So he gets rid of the one I could have taken. And yeah, I just have a powder monkey left. I think I am going to use him. Yeah, we will try and get rid of something. We'll get rid of one of these sixes, say. And a new one comes out. It's a captain. No, I'm not going to get to do anything with my strength, I don't think. I can buy a six. Wouldn't particularly let me do anything. I think... We will hang on to the money and hope to buy something really good next round, I think. Because I don't, I don't think there's a way of me actually getting anything out of this. So I'm, I'm, Marty's going to get six and I'm going to get nothing this round, unfortunately. Marty still has a powder monkey. He will use it to bury something. He will bury another powder monkey, I think. You can only bury what's in your hand or your discard pile. So that's the end of the round now. We get one more chance to buy each. I could buy that six, but what would be the point? So, Marty wins. He gets six points. I didn't get four strength at least, so I'm not even in the running. Everything gets discarded. All the pirates we hired or played get discarded. And Marty's going to be the first player this round. So, let's look at his hand. Well, he drew a lot of pirates, didn't he? So, it's probably going to be more basic cards this time. And what have I got? I've got my other pirate, and I need another card. And it's a money. Okay, then what's Marty want to do? He could do a quite a good loot action here. Yeah, he can get three, four coins, and a card. So what's he got all together now? He's got five coins. Does he want to hire somebody? He could hire that quartermaster. That could be useful. Or he could hold out for the captain, and that's the kind of suit that he wants to gather. I think he'll wait. My turn, I will do my loot, which is for four coins. And I'm going to recruit. Three, four, so I want this six. I think I want my, I have got a four in here, so I think I want to go for the six, so I've got a chance of, of getting some kind of hand. I do want to hire the quartermaster. Three, four coins. I'm going to hire this pirate, and I get a card and a coin. New card comes out. 
Marty is going to take a treasure action, draws a card, and how much money has he got? One, two, three, four, five. He's not going to get to hire anything, is he? He can hire this pirate. It is the suit he wants, and it denies me something. He'll hire this pirate. Oh, we have to decide what he wants to do with this. I think he'll take the coins and not put it in his deck. Because then he's got four more coins for later. Draws a card. It's not another pirate and gets a coin. New card comes out. And the two helps me. Perfect. So I will play one of my cards here. And so I look at two. Draw one, put one back. I will draw the Powder Monkey. Uh, yeah, I did that instead of the two coins. And I'm going to hire this pirate here. New one comes out. Marty has his Powder Monkey, so he will bury one of his basic loot cards, try and thin out his deck a little bit. Although it is decreasing the value of the cards in his deck for this achievement at the end. And then hiring, three, four, five, he can wait and hope that something else will be different at the end of the round, but then he'll only have two cards. He'll have to really hope that, you know, a seven comes out. Or he could hire a quartermaster. I think he will. He'll hire a quartermaster. He'll hire this one because it's the kind of card I, I keep playing on him. So he gets to draw a card. It's just one money, sadly. Let's draw another one. And attacks me. I think I'm going to get rid of a coin. It's my choice what I get rid of. So a new pirate comes out. Oh, it's a parrot. He's not, going to be, um, he's not going to be able to afford it though. I am going to plunder with my two powder monkeys and I'm going to keep this for later. This is a high value one. Marty can play his, what, oh, do I want to hire a card? I can hire this to stop Marty getting anything. I'm going to hire this parrot actually for three. because so I think I can make two separate um, combinations. Marty will do this to get one coin and what can he do? He knows I've just got one card. Oh this is good. He is going to hire this pirate here. I don't know if it's brilliant actually but he gets to get a coin back and he gets to attack me. I lose a card or a coin. I've only got a card and it's the card that was going to make my pair of twos. So that's discarded, unfortunately, and it's the end of the round. Luckily for me, I can make... Now, this can, this can be any number as long as the number isn't already out, so I can't say it's the six of um, anchors because that's already there. But I'm going to say that's a five, so I've got four, five, six, and I have got a straight, which is six strength. Marty, on the other hand, has absolutely nothing. <laughs> so it's worked the other way this time. I'm going to get six points, and he gets nothing. New pirate needs to come out there. And we discard all of this stuff. I'm the first player for the fifth round. So let's bring the hands back out again. There's my other parrot. And yeah, I've got a couple of pirates here. We can always use this token, which would let us discard our hand and draw a new one if we really draw something rubbish. But it's a point at the end if you don't use it. And Marty has started with a pair of sevens, which is, yeah, he's going to stick with that. I'm the first player, and I think I'm going to start out with a plunder action. Let's see. Two money now, or a money and a card when it comes back out. I'm going to get two money now. And do I want to hire somebody? I could hire this one. But I probably want to wait. Maybe I could get five, because then I'd have five, six, seven. Yeah, let's wait. Marty, I think, yeah, he doesn't want to reveal what he's got too soon, so he's going to take a plunder action as well. Now this is minus one to your total value, but when it comes out, you get three coins a time. I think he thinks he's quite far ahead. He's gonna keep that. He's only got one coin, so he can't hire anybody. Back to me. I will, yeah, I can grab one coin now, and I will hire this number five. A new one comes out, that's another five. So I can either plunder or Make Marty get rid of something. I will. I'll attack Marty. I get a coin. Marty will just discard his Powder Monkey. He wasn't overly attached anyway. He is going to play his Yellow Seven there. So look out. Let's him draw two and keep one. 
he'll keep the money and put that back on the deck. And he gets a coin as well, so he's got two now. I don't think he particularly wants to, he would love to stop me getting this five because that's all he can see that I've got, but he can't afford it. So he's not gonna hire anyone. Back over to me. I'm going to play my seven so I can draw a card and get a coin. Marty will, I think he'll play his other seven, draw a card and get a coin. So he's got three coins now and a powder monkey. Nothing really strengthens this yet. He can use the powder monkey to get rid of something, of course. Back to me. Oh, this is separate, isn't it? He hired that one and he played this one. I'm going to play my coin. And should I hire another pirate? I think I'm going to. Yeah, let's hire this other five. So a parrot comes out and I get to take a plunder action. So just three coins now. Don't have the option whether to keep it or not. I can get rid of a card from here. Hmm. Let's see, Marty might be able to use a parrot. Let's get rid of that. And there's a four instead. So over to Marty. He will use his, I think he'll use his coin for now and keep building up. One, two, three, four he's got now. If he could get another couple of coins, it would be great. I don't think he can though. Hopefully he can hire something for four next time. He can use his powder monkey to try and make the selection a bit better for himself. My turn, all I can do is play my parrot. And do I want to hire someone? I can hire one more card. I think I'm going to. I'm going to hire this pirate here. And I will take the... I'll take the two money. Get me ready for next turn a little bit. Marty will use his powder monkey to get rid of a card. And get rid of this green captain. And what do we have a four there? Nothing really helps him. He's got four coins to spend. So you want to hang on to them? So you can see all of the cards that I've got out. He knows that I can get a, I can get a quite a good straight four, five, six, seven. I didn't even think about that when I was hiring the four. He could wait and try and get a captain, but I think he is going to, he's going to hire this one, and he's going to bury another one of his. I think he's going to bury another powder monkey. Surely he'll win that crew one now because I haven't buried anything yet. So at the end, we compare. Marty has four strength with his pair. And I was doing the thing I said, four, five, six, seven as a straight. So it's six for three cards in a straight, plus two. So I have eight strength to his four. I get the six points, but he does get three points. All of the pirates get discarded and a new one should be out here. And I think we're both fairly happy with our hands. I'm starting with a pair. Marty hasn't got anything, but he's got some pirates and he could hire another quartermaster, surely. So he's going to play, he'll play his attack card to start off with, I think. So he gets a coin, so he's up to three now. Or does he want to, yeah, he'll put that coin back and not play that. He will play his loot cards to get, so he gets two coins. I think he'll play his seven first because he wants more money if he can get it. So look out, lets him look at two cards. He might as well take this one because it does two things and it's more pirates out on the board. So he's got three coins now. Yeah, he could get four or five coins and then buy a quartermaster. So he would have a pair of quartermasters at the very least, maybe even three if he can save up the cash. My turn, I'm gonna start straight off with an attack card. And so I get a money. Marty is just going to discard. I think he could go for the captain instead and have a flush. He's gonna discard just the one coin card. Do I wanna hire someone? I could get the four, and then I've got three, four, five. Yeah, let's hire the four. So that's the first one I've hired. And do I want two coins or to look out? I want to look out because maybe I can get another pirate. There we go. There's a seven. I'm gonna, Marty's gonna play his quartermaster. So he hasn't hired anyone yet, has he? So he gets a card, unfortunately not a pirate. He gets a coin and he gets to attack me. I don't have any coins, so I have to discard a card. It will be a powder monkey. And I think he's going to use two of his money, hopefully he can get more later, to hire this one. Because now he's got a flush of the Skull and Crossbones. So hopefully he'll get the, the Bleeding Heart one as well. And that could add to his flush. And maybe it's going to make me concentrate on that to get rid of that when, he, when I don't know that he really wants the captain. 
So from this, he gets a coin and to get something out of the running here. I think he wants to stop me getting... Does he, want, does he want to stop me getting the pair of fours or the three, four, five? I would surely want to stop him getting the three, four, five. But he kind of wants me to have that one so that I'll leave that alone because I have no idea he wants that one yet. Okay, what do I have? I'll play the seven so Marty doesn't see these fives that I've already got. And let's... Let's draw a card and get a coin. So I finally got a coin again. Marty's going to get his coins, so he gets two coins and draws a card. Two coins, draws a card. Ah, there's another loot card I should have waited. My turn, I am going to play the Powder Monkeys and let's, let's try and win the most valuables. I'll keep this in the deck so it counts towards my total for this. Marty, play this again. He gets a coin and draws a card and that is good. This is going to be a, a good flush. I don't think he's, it's not a straight flush, but yeah, he is going to hire one, two, three, four, five, six. He's going to hire this captain. His first hire of the round, I think. That's all of his money, but he can either count this pirate as any card. And when, once we get to the, the crew strength, he can choose the suit and strength of it. So he could say, because the to get the, the, the suit actually goes one one to seven, then quartermaster, then captain, he could say this was the blue captain, and then he'd have a straight flush there, which is 12 points. But he doesn't have to decide that right now. New card comes out, just a three. Well, that's good for me. I can get a straight flush with that. I want a coin. At any cost, I want a coin. So let's... Let's attack Marty right now. I'll get a coin because I know he's got no coins and he has to discard something. He'll discard this one, I think. And now I am going to buy the three. So I've got three, four, five. I could get a six. Uh, it could very well have come out already. Uh, I can bury a card, I'll bury a powder monkey, try and catch up, but I think I'm far too late on that and get a money. Wow, the quartermaster's come out. Marty will play his five, and so he gets to get some treasure. It's not going to come out if he... Well, his deck is going to shuffle, but he's going to get a coin and attack me. I definitely don't want to discard that, so I'm going to have to lose the coin. And he can get rid of something from here. He'll get rid of the green one, so I can't build up things of that suit. I just have one card left, so I get to... Loot. I'm not going to be able to do anything with one coin. I will. Oh, it's minus one though. So yeah, I don't want that, that in the deck. And I can get rid of something. I will get rid of the quartermaster because Marty might be able to do something good with that. It would have been brilliant if we'd gone for yellow at all. Maybe it didn't come out in time. Now it's a bit late. Marty shouldn't have saved this. His attack card. I have to discard a coin, but wasn't going to do anything with it anyway. I get, he gets another coin. And so he's got two coins. Nothing else is going to happen, so he might as well hire the only card that he can. He gets to bury something else. So he could bury another crew member. And he gets a coin. And so now the final... The final tally. So what's the best that I can make? I think it's this 3, 4, 5... is a straight flush of 12 and then the rest of the cards don't make anything because otherwise it would be a pair of threes a pair of fives would be eight and the four and the seven wouldn't do anything yeah i don't think based on these cards i think that's the best that you can do a straight flush of three which is 12 same suit three four five well that's me isn't it the best that i can do what can marty do he can get well he's won it hasn't he he's won the round because that's Flush, flush there, flush there. 16 points, so 16 to 12. He gets the six this round, I get the three. And so we move on to the legendary achievements. So the richest is the value of the loot cards in your deck. So let me just separate those. And I think it's fairly close actually, I might have gotten this. Three, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. I thought Marty was doing better at this. Two, four, six, seven, six. 
So I get these four points. You can use the tokens, but in a two-player game, only one person can get it, so I just use the card. In a game with more players, of course, different people can, uh, you know, there's first and second place. So I'm gonna get those four points. And now for crew members though, surely it's Marty, I only buried one card. And it's pirates and powder monkeys count. Yeah, he buried loads. So we're even on that. That's cards everywhere. So we're even on the achievements and the, well, neither of us used our, our tokens. So it comes down to points on here. I have 12, 15, 16, 21. Marty has five, 11, 17, 20. So one point in it, I just about take it. Just about had the better crew in the end there. But Marty in the last round, two flushes, that was really good. Anyway, that is a quick two player game of Ruthless. I hope that gives you a good idea of what the game's like and uh, with, help you make up your mind whether you want to look into it anymore. If you'd like to know what I think about it, then you can click this link over here somewhere. But thank you very much for watching everyone and I'll see you for the next game. Bye.